Hi VC, this is Aaron, Mutha Alamer, and today I'm continuing on with the S's in my collection, and I'll just get right to it here. I'm starting out, this is the only uh, album I have by this band, I really like them, but I uh, need to get more of them. This is a reissue. It's uh, the Sex Pistols, never mind the Bullocks. Really good record, it has uh, God Save the Queen, Anarchy in the UK, among others. And um, really good sounding repress. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for an original, but they're kind of pricey when you do see them. And it's got a inner here. Folds out. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, and next up I've got, this is um, Sheila E., The Glamorous Life. Of course, she was uh, part of the revolution with Prince. I believe she was in one one of his incarnations of groups. I thought it was that one. She's a percussionist, you know. It's all right. And I've got a. Uh, I'm not surely. I'm not uh, actually sure where they're from. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Europe. Um, but this is Shy. Brave the Storm. They're like a uh, glam metal band from the '80s. Pretty good stuff here. I always like them. I had a different album of them on cassette long ago, and I don't have any more. I wish I did. And I, I really like that one a lot. I think this is uh, before that one. And this is the only one I have by uh, Carly Simon. It's the best of Carly Simon. Of course, she does Your Sylvain and among us, amongst others. And there's the label. And it's got all the lyrics in here. If you're interested in that kind of thing. And. Then I got some Simon and Garfunkel. This is Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. I believe this is their first one. Really good. I, I like Simon and Garfunkel. Great harmonizers, great singers and songwriters. And, uh, you know, they're really good. This one's got the original version of the Sound of, Sound of Silence on it. I think it's an acoustic. And there's the label. And I actually don't have that album, but I have this one. Uh, Parsley Page, Rosemary and Thyme. And uh, I'll probably take that off. Someone put a sticker on there. I guess that goes with it a little. A little beat up cover, but the record plays great. Really good record. Columbia 360. You know, this has Scarborough Fair on it and, uh, you know, good stuff. Really good. And then I got Bookends. Really good one here, too. Another uh, 360 sound. And this one's got, you know, this has, I mean, this has great songs on it. Mrs. Robinson was on this. Um, yeah, good stuff. And then I've got some Bridge, uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. That's a great song. Really good record. Another 360 sound. And, yeah, my favorite uh, Seminar Garfunkel song is on this one, is Cecilia. I really love that song. It's got the boxer. This is a great record. And then I've got um, some of my Garfunkel's greatest hits. And this is a later pressing. You can tell from the label there. And you know it's got you know all their all their big songs on it. There's the track list. Most people know this record if they know them. And in this album, I've had since I was a kid. This is actually my parents' record, and I still have it in my collection. This is Paul Simon's greatest hits. It's actually the first thing I heard from Paul Simon, and I know this album like the back of my hand. It's, I know it really well. Really good stuff. Um, I remember uh, when I was when I was young, about four or five years old, just sitting there reading the lyrics of all these songs, and really good songwriter Paul Simon. Good songs on here. Yeah, it's you know it's got all of his big solo hits. There's the second side, first side. Really good. And then I've got um, One Trick Pony, another good one. I always like that song a lot. It's probably my favorite song from this album. This album's pretty solid, too. There's the label. Good album here. And this one I picked up in an estate sale for $1. This is Graceland, still in the shrink. Great pickup for a dollar. I couldn't believe it when I saw it there. They had all these weird old ones and then this in the middle of them. And I cleaned it up and... Really nice looking copy there. Really good, really great record here. You know, it's it's a great record. 
And then my only Frank Sinatra, this is, <laughs> this is Merry Christmas to you, Frank Sinatra, and the Midnight Strings. So the first side is him, the second side is the Midnight Strings, which is instrumental, Christmas. And the label here should be this weird green label. And then I've got one Nancy Sinatra. This is a pretty hammer, but I, I keep it in, anyway. For sugar. This is a radio station copy. You can tell by all that. And it's really, really hammered. <laughs> pretty cool label. And here's one of my favorite bands next. Um, this is Skid Row's debut. Really love Skid Row. Huge fan of them. I have been since uh, this album came out. Love this record. But surprisingly, this is my third favorite record they did, and it's a great one. You know, this has Big Guns and um, 18 and Life and Youth Gone Wild and, you know, Here I Am. Peace of Me is great. You know, really good album. I remember you as a big hit, but yeah, this is great. Great. And then um, I've got this one here, and uh, this is a repress from Rocktober. Besides Ourselves, really good cover songs on here. It's got uh, Psychotherapy from the Ramones and Come On and Love Me from Kiss, Delivering Goods, the, the Goods from uh, Judas Priest, um, and then uh, What You're Doing, a Rush song, and Little Wing from Hendrix, and it's they do those songs really good. Delivering the Goods is great psychotherapy, and there's the vinyl, pretty cool vinyl on it. And actually, my two two of my biggest grails are Slave to the Grind and Subhuman Race. Subhuman Race was always my favorite of theirs, but so, uh, that and Slave to the Grind are so excellent. And uh, Subhuman Race is probably my biggest grail out of any record. And sub, because it's harder to find than than uh, Slave to the Grind, but both of those are grails of mine. And now I got this one, uh, United World Rebellion, Chapter One. This is actually really good. It has a different singer on it. it. Doesn't have Sebastian Bach, but it's a really good record. It's an EP, and. Uh, it's really good. I like. I enjoy this one a lot more than I thought I would. It's really good. Then I got some Slade. This is the the album Slade. They're a really underrated uh, hard rock band from the '70s. They're killer. And you know, just to name off, I mean, Goodbye to Jane, Britney Fox redid. Mama, we're all crazy now. It's on this and uh, Quiet Riot, of course, did that on Condition Critical. So they were a big influence on uh, on a lot of the uh, glam metal scene. Then I've got some Slatest. This is a really good one. It's got, uh, you know, really good stuff. Moment we're all crazy now again. But come on, feel the noise. Quite right. Turned two of their songs into bigger hits than they had with them. Really good band. And Kiss was really influenced by Slate a lot, too. They, they were a big influence on Kiss. And uh, this is uh, Stomp Your Hands, Clap Your Feet. Pretty good one as well. There's the label there. And then my last Slade record is, uh, this is actually the first Slade record I ever heard. I bought it on cassette when it was first out because I loved the uh, song Run, Run Away. This is Keep Your Hands Off My Power Supply. Really good record. It was a, you know, maybe the, <laughs> they might have been more popular on this than they were with their uh, amazing 70s records. And, you know, it's Slam the Hammer Down. That's a really good song. This is a good album. Good record there. There's the label there. And then this here is Slash features uh, featuring Miles Kennedy and the cons uh, Conspirators, Leaving the Dream, Living the Dream, sorry. Really good record. Uh, you know, I love Slash's guitar work. He's an amazing guitarist. Miles Kennedy, I, I mean, I like him. He's, it's not the same as Guns N' Roses, of course. But this is a good record. It's a double, double album. And the labels are pretty cool. Uh, custom labels there and I believe the other one's the same let me check nope different four different colors for the labels and they're all those custom this is a good record it, it's really good you know anything with slash has got a great guitar on it and I really love this record this is from the mid mid to late 80s this is um, take the world by storm by slave raider very unique band um, yeah they're really good they're kind of over the top Kind of in the vein of, you know, Twisted Sister, um, uh, yeah, their look, but they're more pirate looking. But the music is, you know, there was a Zodiac Mind Warp and the Love Reaction. They're kind of similar to like Twisted Sister, them. This is a really good record though. Really good. Make some noise. 
really good song on Jive. And now we're getting some heavy stuff here. Um, I don't have any of their original OG cop presses, but these are all really nice, played really nice copies. This is um, Show No Mercy from Slayer. Really killer record, this is their debut. Great band, saw them live opening for Judas Priest and they, I thought they were better than Judas Priest and this is on a red vinyl. Where's the glare? There we go. You can see the label there. Just plain white, mainly. But this has really good sound to it. Killer album. Then my favorite one by uh, Slayer. This is South of Heaven. Really good record here. I love this album. It's uh, very dark and just really great record there. There's the label there. You know, it's got this, the title song is just great. But Mandatory Suicide, Spill the Blood. This is a garage, so that's really cool. It's a Judas Priest cover song, and they do it really well. Really good album, Silent Scream, yeah. Great record there. Then I've got uh, Rain and Blood, with a really good one. And this indicates the color of the vinyl there. Great record here, too. Angel of Death, you know. And there's the vinyl. White with a little bit of extra coloring mixed in. And it's got a lyric sheet, which is cool. Great record, Rain and Blood, one of their best. And then I got some South, I mean, um, Seasons in the Abyss. Love that song, this is a really good record too. Great record here. Yeah, Slayer's good, and it's got the, the lyric sheet in there. And it's just on black vinyl, so I won't pull it out but it's cool. And then I got a couple bootlegs. Um, this one here is a R.A.P. Rain and Pain, Nottingham, 1987. It's a live show featuring Jeff Hanneman a lot because I think he had just died when they made the, uh, the vinyl copy. And it's on this green, pretty cool vinyl there. Custom vinyl. And it's got this big poster in it, which I will pulled out so you can see it kind of big poster pretty cool a lot of Slayer fans out there I know and then I've got this is a 1994 Monsters of Rock in Argentina Mind Control Live another really good pressing it's a live there's the you know there's the track list you can see it there I can get the glare off it really good album this is on this red vinyl. Looks kind of pink on the screen, but it's actually really, really red. And then um, it's got this insert. Can't go wrong with Slayer. Of course, they're one of the one of the big four, which I've always uh, I've always said there should have been a big eight. But all right. And next up, I've got Sleep. The Sciences, really good record. And I bought this used, that's why this is on there. I would have never done that. <laughs> Someone mentioned that when I showed this uh, before. And uh, this is a really, you know, it's really different music. It's a uh, very uh, doom, so it's it's kind of different getting into. Once you get into this, it is so good. This is a great record. It's a double record and, you know, the songs, Two of the sides are one song. One of them is 12 and a half minutes and one's 14 and a half minutes long. There's the tracks there. So it's not like uh, most of them where you just flip them every five minutes when they get them, make them like that, which I don't really like. So that was pretty cool. I like that record. And here's another one I really like. This is this is a great record. I wish they had their second one on vinyl, but I don't think they ever put it out. This is a Sleazeby, Screwed, Blued, and Tattooed. I listened to this so much when it came out. I, have, I still have the cassette and I have their second one on power tool on cassette as well great band I think they're from the Netherlands I'm not sure though there's the label and yeah this is a great record house is on fire rocking in the western world stranger than paradise is a semi hit for them as well as heroes die young those were the videos on their TV really good record and here's a, a, a record with my favorite female singer from like the the metal um, the metal era, the uh, glam metal. This is Smash Gladys, Social Intercourse. Great record. 
the lead singer's name is Sally Cato. She's right there. Really good. Um, you know, it's sleaze metal at, at its finest. <laughs> really bluesy, heavy at times. Really good stuff here. And then I got two 12-inch uh, singles. I actually found these in an antique shop in Pocatello, Idaho. That's kind of weird. Uh, the Smash Gladys, Lick It Into Shape. And Legs Up. And I, I was amazed when I saw these. And then here, I got here, this is a uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Gish. It's the only Smashing Pumpkins I have. I, I would like to get others of them because I like them. But this is a really good record here. There's the tracks. And the vinyl in here. This is a repress. You can tell because it's just the Lewis vinyl here. Kind of different coloring there. Pretty cool. So I pick up any bands that I don't have is when I see them. And then this is a a really good, very influential female artist. I really like her. Patty Smith with Horses. Really good record. This is her debut. And she's it's like it's she's a punk rocker. I mean she's her lyrics are out there. <laughs> There's the label there. Really good record here. This is a repress. I have two more of her, which are OG copies, which I'll show next. And this is actually my favorite record I, I, of hers, probably because it's the first one I heard. It's the first one I bought, and I, I fell in love with this record. It's Easter. Really good record here. Killer stuff. It's like punk meets folk, kind of, you know. Really good, really good music. And she's very... She'd be very controversial if she was out now, that's for sure. I mean, if she would just start her career now. And then this is a Patti Smith group with Wave, another really good one. I like this album a lot, too. And there's the label. And this one has a deal here. Stay. What's the look? stuff there yeah the inner there then I got some uh, one of my favorite artists um, D Snyder this is called we are the ones great record it's very different for him these two D Snyder solo records are really different this one's really good um, it has kind of an industrial sound to it at times and other times it sounds like his band Widowmaker a little it's on this hot pink vinyl they do an acoustic version of We're Not Gonna Take It on there. In fact, that's actually probably my least favorite song on this. I like that song, but um, I like it better heavier. But the song We Are The Ones is great, Over Again. Close To You is great. Um, then I got Crazy For Nothing is one of my very favorite D. Snyder of all of his songs he's ever done. I love that song. And they do a, a really cool version of Head Like A Hole on here from Nine Inch Nails. It's really good. And um, a song called So What? It's a, <laughs> I love that. It's great, great, great lyrics. It's kind of acoustic -y. It's really killer. So what? Killer, killer song. And then this is a heavy, heavy record. It's a, for the love of metal. And this one took me a couple listens to get into, but once I did, it became one of my very favorite records. At first, it was like so different. I couldn't get used to it because it's got a modern production on it. And uh, Jamie Josta and a few other modern metal guys were involved in this. Uh, I think the guy for Air 2 from Lamb of God, maybe. Um, they were supposed to be, I don't know if they made it on here, but this album, uh, it's, it gets better every time I hear it. It's, it starts with lies of their business and that drumming at the beginning just, it sets the tone and just goes. And like, uh, American Made is one of my favorite songs. I love that. And Roll Over You is really heavy. Then on the, it's got a song called Running Mazes, which, uh, it's really heavy, really killer song. And I, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, I say this all the time, but I call it the Arya Stark song because of the lyrics, the chorus. If you hear the chorus and you know Game of Thrones, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And then it's got The Hardest Way with Howard Jones from Kill Switch and Gage on it. And um, Dead Hearts Love the Enemy with uh, Alyssa White Glutz from Arch Enemy. But she sings in a clean vocal style on this, which she usually doesn't on Arch Enemy. She usually have the, uh, the other vocal style. And then the song for the love of metal is great. And it's like uh, really heavy and it's a, it like, talks about all these old metal songs that are really good. It's a really killer record. I love this. And give this a couple listens if you're going to listen to it because it's one of those that grow on you a lot. The more you hear it, it grows on you. And then going from all this heavy metal, I got my uh, one of my other... I have two hip-hop albums in my whole collection of over 3,000. This is the other one. This is a Snoop Dogg. 
and uh, you know I got it because it was cheap. I've heard it probably once. I'm not a. I just don't. I don't know why I just can't get into hip hop much. I mean, I've heard tons of it when I was younger, and this is all right. I mean, if I can listen to it, that's probably gonna be that record. So. Okay, and then here, this is a really great band, and I had to get a repress because it's really hard to find the uh, the old old ones. And this is um, Stormtroopers of Death, S.O.D., Speak English or Die. Great, great record. And it's uh, basically Anthrax with a different singer. <laughs> and it's really punk, punk influence because it's kind of a punk metal hybrid record, and it's really good. I love it. Here's the vinyl on it. Pretty cool looking. And, uh, yeah, just look at all those songs. It's like a punk listing. And, um... The Milano Mosh is great, um, Speak English or Die, and MTV Headbangers Ball, that Headbangers Ball theme music was from this. So when you're hearing the Headbangers Ball, when it's, they used to have the theme music for it, it was, I, I believe it was Milano's Mosh, but it could have been a different song, but I know it's from this record, that theme music from uh, Headbangers Ball. And then next up I got a Soft Cell, Nonstop Electric Cabaret. They're a new wave band, really, they're actually really, uh, really good band they got a their big song was of course um tainted love and this is what that, how that song was originally on and uh there's a label there and then i actually have the tainted love where did our love go 12 inch single so it's really long and it goes into another song for where did our love go it's really cool actually sounds really good and you know this 12 inch single sounds great they're a pain in the neck to flip all the time but if you get a really good sound they just have a it's like 45s and the 12 inch singles have a, a better sound because their grooves are spaced further apart usually and then I have this is called numbers from soft cell another 12 inch single and barriers on the V side there's the, vinyl, the label and then here's a really great blues artist this is Sunhouse Really good, a repress on 180 gram vinyl. It's really good sounding. It's original 1940 to 1942 Mississippi recordings. And he's an amazing artist. Really great blues man. I like this album a lot. And then I got some, uh, a cowboy's work is never done. Sonny and Cher. <laughs> Pretty old record here. And there's the label. And then I'm finishing out with one of my favorite bands of all time. This is uh, Soundgarden, Ultra Mega OK, their debut, great record. You know, the song um, Beyond the Wheel, oh my God, I love that song. You know, it's Head Injury, Flower, great, great stuff. Chris Cornell and company are great. There's this, it's a great record. And there's the, there's the band, Matt Cameron, in the back there with the, Kim Thiel, great, great record. And then I've got, this is a, a dual EP. This is Screaming Live Fop. I really love Fop. Fop is really cool. I love, I have the, I've had the cassette of this for forever. But I had to, when I saw the reissue, I had to get it. So I love this album. It's a, you know, double record here. Where's the vinyl? And I don't believe, let me look. Okay, yeah. So one, one album is Creamy Life and one record is Fop. So that's pretty cool. Here's one of their best records here, Louder Than Love. Love this record. Killer, killer stuff. Of course, it's got the song Loud Love. And Big Dumb Sex is on here, which Guns N' Roses did on the Spaghetti Incident. Um, you know, this is great. Hands All Over. Get On The Snake. Fool On Kevin's Mom. Killer, killer record. And of course, my favorite, Bad Motor Finger. Just an amazing record all the way through with, uh, you know, Rusty Cage and Outshine, and Jesus Christ Pose, all those songs. Slaves and Bulldozers, great stuff. Whole album is just solid. One of the best grunge albums ever made. They're probably my, uh, I'd say they're my second favorite grunge band. It's Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Mother Love Bone. I've always been my two, three favorites. But. And then I got some uh, Super Unknown, double vinyl, great record. This is probably the most commercially successful. Of course, I had Black Hole Sun on it and, uh, you know, 
Spoon Man, Day I Tried to Live, Fell on Black Days, My Way, Fourth of July, really good song there. This is a great record, too. They're all really good. I love Soundgarden. And I'm finishing out with my last Soundgarden. I don't have all of them, but I do have uh, Down on the Upside, another great record. It's on double vinyl as well. It's got a lyric insert and the labels there. And, you know, this had Burden in My Hand, Ty Cobb, I love, love the Outside World. Pretty new, so oh my god, Rhinosaur, great record. I, I love this. I love grunge, I've always liked it. Um, probably my least favorite grunge band is Nirvana, and they were the ones that were got the most notoriety. I mean, I like them, but not 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 like Soundgarden and Alice in Chains and Mother Love Bone, Pearl Jam, and all them. And you know, there's other ones, obscure bands, and you know, see that the other lyric sheet as well. Really great. A song called Apple Bite on here about Andrew Wood. Great record here. So there I go. Um, that's probably about half of my S's um, through to this point. So I'm, I'm, I was just looking. I'll probably have to split up uh, two more sections, maybe three, to get through them. Um, and that was all. That's a lot there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and um, all right. Rock on, everybody. Have a good one.